Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we're back here with another review, and today we have a review here. This is called the iSpy Pen Pro, so this is going to be a spy camera. It's been a while since I reviewed one, but I, I think it's time to do that. You know, the cool thing about this company here, it's assembled in the USA, so that's always good news. It has about 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, that's really nice. You don't, we don't need to have a, a micro SD card if you don't want. It, it films in 1080p, so there's a lot to like here, you know, and hopefully this product can be better than the numerous spy cameras I've reviewed in the past, because I've reviewed many over my time here, but because this is an American company, there's some things I'm expecting here that I wouldn't expect from a typical uh, Chinese uh, distributor here, so the box here is now empty, so this is everything you get inside the box here, we're going to start off here with the uh, instruction manual here, the uh, ease to use guide, and we have another guide here. Are these the two same things? Yeah, these are actually two of the uh, same things. Yeah, I don't know exactly why you need both of them because they do the same thing. But hey, whatever. I'm not complaining. So let's see what actual components you get here. Um, you have this here. This is, uh, let's see what this is here. This is going to be, it looks like it's a USB to USB. Hold up. Let me take a double uh, peek here. So interesting. It's a USB cable to a... Uh, this is some type of proprietary, it almost looks like a micro US, not, not micro, but a USB cable. But this is a proprietary format, and this is uh, your typical USB cable. So yeah, no micro here. These are two uh, ports here, so I'm guessing this is going to go into the pen, but we don't, we don't know yet. You know, maybe it's going to go into the power source here. So here is the uh, wall adapter here, so that appears to be taking a USB port. So that means the other port must be here in the pen. It's probably going to be a female proprietary port because that, that is a male proprietary port here. So here is your pen here. Let's see if we can find that female port here. So you can, you, they do want you to unscrew in this thing. This is how you can uh, adjust it and things of that nature here. So yeah, here you go guys. That is the, uh, that's actually a male port I believe. Hmm. So, guys, I actually uh, made a small error here. It seems like the inside of here. I mean, this this could be this could be a USB charger too. We we'll have to get into that in, into a, a bit here. But there actually is a micro SD card in here, so that's actually very convenient here. That sand disk it looks like. Let's take it out. Don't want to break it or anything, but sometimes sometimes it's not easy to pull this stuff out. You know. Right, give me uh, one second here. Okay guys, we're back here, so I did some more research here. I just want to make sure I know what I'm talking about here. So you have a switch here, this is a 1 and 2 switch, you see that. So the left one, which is 1, is going to be a video, I believe. I have the instructions here. Uh, the left one is indeed video, as you can see right here. And the right one is to be taking pictures and stuff of that nature here. So, you know, I mean, the micro SD card is right here. And also, you see this guy. So what you do is, when, you, when it's time to uh, connect this to your computer or something of that nature, you could take this cable here and you take the proprietary cable. You put this part facing up here. So you see how there's, a, there's an empty space down here. You have this part facing up like this here. And as you can see, you click it in like that, and that should uh, work. So when it's time for you to do a data transfer, that's going to be available to you. I mean, you could always, if you want, just take out the SD card. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. That thing's really in there. I'm having trouble pulling it out. So we're going to just uh, leave it in there for now. So apparently, the, 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 the company wants you to uh, get some battery going on this thing. But I'm just going to... I'm going to hope that maybe it came at least somewhat charged. That would be nice, right? So hopefully it came at least somewhat charged. If not, I mean, I'll charge it. But I got to imagine you're going to have at least some power coming to this thing. So where exactly is the camera? So the camera appears to be uh, right there. Can you see that? It's very uh, faint here. So let's take a video. So um, I don't see any clear input. Maybe potentially the battery's dead here. Um, I'm going to make sure I read the instructions correctly. So they want me to they want me to hold it for a longer uh, period of time here. They want me to keep holding it until a blue light begins to uh, flash. If I don't see a blue light, that means I am not holding it long enough, or potentially the battery could uh, just uh, be dead here. So it's definitely one of two possibilities here. Um, I'm not getting any feedback here, so I'm gonna have to imagine the uh, battery here is dead. So give me about a minute or so. I'm gonna charge this thing up, and we're gonna get some power going here. So give me guys one uh, second here, okay? Okay guys, we're back here. It's been about 30 minutes here, so this thing has been charging. You can't even see, you can't even see it on camera. No, you can't see it on camera, but it's right here. I'm gonna unplug it. 
So, I mean, this thing's been charging for at least 30 minutes at this point. I mean, that should be a sufficient amount of time to test this thing for a few minutes. I mean, they want you to charge this thing for two hours, but I'm like, you know, I don't have time for that, you know? I've got, I got a video to make here. So, it's been about 30 minutes, and if this thing works correctly, it should be either this light here or this light. One of these two lights should be uh, lighting up. So, let's see if this works. It should be, it should be in blue. Let's go. They so want you to hold it down for, uh, so look on the back here. See that? Hmm. Now it disappeared. So maybe you have to actually hold it down, maybe? Yep. Hmm. So it seems like the battery is still low on this thing because it, it's, it's blue for a second, then it dissipates. Hmm. That's very interesting. Let's see if I can maybe potentially do this as it's charging because to be honest with you, you know, I'm trying to make this video, you know, so I'm going to plug it into the uh, charger here and hopefully I can record the video here while it's being charged. Nope, that didn't work. But let's, let's see if any, let's see if, because the blue light was flashing for a few seconds here. Let's see if any footage even came out of this thing, you know. Uh, where the hell is this thing going to be found? Uh, let's see here. Hmm. I, I think my computer is not, doesn't even see it right now. Interesting. I have to see where it is on my computer here. Uh, yeah. So guys, give me a second here. I, I can't, I can't even find it. So give me a, give me a moment here. All right, guys, I, I just took a look here at the uh, files here. So I was able to record about one second video, then the thing turned off. So it really does seem like you need to wait two hours for this thing to charge. So that that's definitely going to be unfortunate because you know, I'm, I'm, I'm under a tight uh, time schedule right now. So um, I'm going to have to uh, make a part two to this video. And the part two is going to be down below. It's going to be a link down below. It's going to be posted uh, later in the day. And that's going to have a full long video showing you what this thing is going to look like. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. But, you know, I do have to go, but I do want to give you guys a video. So overall, you know, I have I have a two-second clip that did record before the battery died. So I, I can, inc I will include that in the, in the, you probably already see in the corner of your screen here. So that is the, the two seconds that I was able to record, but the battery then died. So you really have to charge this thing for a long time for the battery to actually last, which is a little bit concerning, but hopefully we could do a long-term test um, once that thing does. So th those two seconds, you can have that, guys. Kind of get a reference of what you're working with. But yeah, we'll be back for part two. But overall, yeah, if you do want to buy it, guys, um, Amazon link will be down below. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe and like for daily news and reviews. And check out PeeBosOnline.com. I'm going to have a written review of this probably tomorrow because i got to film part two later today. I got many reviews. I got videos. I got shopping. I got some cool stuff on there. So check it out, okay, guys? Really hope you guys enjoyed that video. And thank you, bye.